Hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at the construction and use of a weed wiper. Our farm is a very windy location and normal spray herbicide application has the risk of overspray and damage to plants we want to keep. After a little bit of research we decided that a weed wiper would be the best method to be able to apply herbicide without the risk of overspray. We gathered the parts that we thought we'd need, a herbicide tank, a pump, a filter, a power supply and a little switch to turn the pump off and on. I included a filter in the system because I was using micro spray heads to deliver the herbicide to the wiper and I didn't want them getting blocked up. I used irrigation pipe to deliver the herbicide to the weed wiper. I found that drilling a hole the diameter of the microjet provided a good solid fitting to hold the system in place. I used marine carpet as a delivery system and you can see here I had three layers, two longer pieces and one just for stiffening. I used marine carpet for a couple of reasons. It was able to let the liquid flow quickly to the application point and also it's a very robust and UV protected material. My plan was to use clamps attached to the angle iron and to the bucket. Time will tell if this is an adequate system or not. After testing the pump on the system, I realised that the 6 litres per minute was too great a flow and I had to have a better way to be able to control the delivery of the herbicide to the weed wiper. I decided to add a cycling timer to the switch box. I've included a wiring diagram for those people who might be interested in this part of the project. The timer cycles through two phases, an on phase and an off phase, and then continues to loop around in those two phases until turned off. After a little bit of maths, we worked out that the best time to run the pump was two seconds on and 45 seconds off. I wanted to be able to prime the pump without having to wait for the timing cycle. So the green switch shown here turns the pump on and bypasses the timer. Time to head to the farm and set up the system. We used a generally available broad spectrum herbicide for this spraying. After calculating the width of the weed wiper and the speed of the tractor, we determined the concentration of the herbicide Go water mix. Our mix was three to one. Three lots of water, one lot of herbicide. We included a herbicide dye in the mixture so we could see how much of the herbicide was actually making it onto the target weeds. Martin's years behind the bar pay off in these circumstances. Before we could get in amongst the weeds, we needed to be able to work out how fast the tractor was going. We measured out 100 metres and put flags at 10 metre intervals. We were able to set the tractor up at a steady 1 metre per second speed. We're all set to get going with the business end of the activities. A quick prime of the pump and off we go. After the first pass of the weed wiper, we were happy to see that the herbicide appeared to be being applied in sufficient volume. Unfortunately, a short time later, our clamping system failed and damaged the weed wiper. After a hasty repair job, we were back in action 
and finish the spraying. These next couple of pictures show a before and after of the herbicide application approximately two weeks apart. Overall we were happy with the success of the weed wiper and plan to use this system again next year. Thank you for watching the video and if you're interested there are more videos in this series. See the links below for details. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.